am Smriti from Learn Flutter with Smriti. I welcome you all to this complete e-commerce project in this portion. I know many of you will be excited just by its name. But before we actually get our hands on it, let's see what we'll learn today. Today we'll learn user model class and bell notifier to handle state changes. I will share it to everything from scratch. I have designed this series for everyone who wants to learn Flutter. If you are a beginner, don't worry, I will hold your hand through this entire series. Flutter is super easy to learn. So let's begin and also don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Okay, so we will start up this section by having a quick introduction to project structure. In the node directory, I am added assets folder. In that directory, I am added two more folders, icons and images. In lib directory's main.file, I am initialized to Firebase app. If you don't know how to connect your database with Flutter project, I will put the video link in the video description. You can check out from there. In root widget, I am added debug mode banner false and I am at a title pocket market zone. I am also added a theme in that I am added primary color and in body property, I am added landing page widget inside of scaffold widget. Here, landing page widget is stateless widget, its return statement, I am added container widget. Okay, so without any further delays, let's get started. Now let's write code to build a complete e-commerce app from scratch together. First, in the live directory, I'll create new two folders for model and services. In the model directory, I'm creating a new file called user.dart to create user model class. First, I'll create a class. We will not use user. If we use user can be conflicted with Firebase user. So I am giving its name users. In that class we will add some fields. To initialize all fields, we will construct this. Now we will create two functions from map and to map. Before we write these functions, let's understand what are from map and to map. Think you have data object, you want to convert the data object into map data. Then you have to do like this. And whenever you want to post something into database or API or server, you have map data so you can post in it like this. Now we will create data objects using a map constructor. In that function, we will add all fields that data will be converted into map data. In the to map, we can take the saved values in our local variables and can return a map. This to map functions will return a map with all fields.
so we are done with user model class now we will move into bill notifier to rebuild widgets first let's understand bill notifier in Dart, Bell Notifier is a special type of class that extends a change notifier. It can be an integer, a string, a boolean or your own data type. It improves the performance of Flutter app as it can help to reduce the number of times a widget gets rebuilt. Okay, so in the services directory, I am creating new file of notifier. So I am creating a class auth notifier and extends the change notifier. To let the UI listen for changes in user model, we use change notifier. Change notifier that comes from provider package, so we have to add this library in our pubspec.ml file. Now we will create two methods to change this state. The set user method is used to switch the user from sign in to sign up and vice versa. We want to show the changes to the user, that's why we are calling notify listener to notify the UI to re render itself. The set user details function is used to change the state and to get the user details update. As for us today, I hope to learn a lot from today's video. There was an invitation to watch the next video to learn more. Thank you.